Tigers trying to finish this drive the right way. Horny Brook rolling, and now he'll throw it back the other way. That's caught by Michael Diener at the 10, at the 5. Touchdown, Wisconsin! Michael Diener! Yes, sir! Was the play of the weekend, 320 pounds coming at you towards the end zone. The man who did it is Michael Dieter, who joins us now from our Madison studios. Michael, how fast do you think you were going there? Um, if I had to guess, I would say I was no faster than 14 or 15 miles per hour, <laughs> which, is, which is good enough. Yeah, that's, that's fast enough. See, it pays to go to McDonald's as often as you do. Oh, of course. I mean, the added weight, it helps, especially when you get it rolling downfield. Explain to everybody how frequently you eat at that fast food chain. Um, I don't know. In season, it's not as bad. Um, but I would say close to three times a week. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how it got such a bad rap. Obviously, it's not the healthiest thing in the world, but I mean, we, we work out a lot, stuff like that. We stay <laughs> You've earned it. You've earned it, man. Well, yeah. It's working, clearly. Uh, yeah. All right, so, so take me back to Saturday. When the play call comes in, and you realize this play is your time to shine. What's the first thing that runs through your head? Um, was just catch the football, obviously, because <laughs> it, it was lateral, so it would be live. It'd be a fumble. Um, and then there was a really long TV timeout, so I was getting a little nervous just <laughs> thinking about catching the football and that it would be a live ball if I dropped it. Um, I told everyone in the huddle that, remember, it will be live if I mess up and get ready to recover it. Um, and then it just switched to make the play. How many times in practice was that run? Probably, I think three, at least three. Okay. Um, How many times did you we, drop we, it? None. Not a boy. I think if I would have dropped it, it would have it got put aside. <laughs> what do you think would have happened Saturday if you dropped it during the game? I don't know. That would have been, it would have been a bad feeling. Um, we definitely wouldn't have been able to ever run it again, I would say, either side. Um, I would have screwed Dave over in the process. Um, so I had to make sure I caught it. What was the best thing somebody said to you after the catch? Oh, I don't know. I think it was probably my mom and um, some other family members that were a little, they weren't upset that I didn't tell them that that was even a possibility. <laughs> um, but they were concerned. They were, they were a little mad, I guess, that I didn't tell them that that was something to look for. Um, and it just, it was a huge surprise. That is such a mom thing, to be not only happy yes. for your son, but also like, why didn't you tell me, Michael? Exactly, yep. I think my, uh, my girlfriend said the same thing. <laughs> and I said, well, I wanted it to be a surprise. Isn't it better? And they both said no. <laughs> they wanted to know. <laughs> I love it. Well, I could keep talking to you about this play all day, but there's so many things to talk to you about your team right now. Uh, don't, don't give me the can answer. We take it one game at a time. Be real with me here. You are undefeated and top 10 ranked heading into the month of November. How's that feel? Um, it feels great. I mean, to be 8-0 and, and, and to be in, in all this conversation, all the hype, stuff like that, it's awesome. Um, but... I'm going to say it. No. The only way to stay successful is to take it one week at a no, time. No, don't. Um, there's no reason to get uh, carried away Dieter. with any of it. I mean, no, don't. Don't get caught up in it. Come on I now. have to. Don't. I have to. I'd be lying to myself if it wasn't my first thought. Fair enough. As an offensive lineman, you get to block for this guy, Jonathan Taylor. What's your perspective on what, made, what has made him so great this year? Um... I mean, obviously, he's athletically gifted. Um, but I think what I've really liked about JT the most is, is he's put some balls on the ground, and, and they haven't affected him. I think as a true freshman in all this spotlight that he's, that he's had, um, when he makes a play like that, I think it would be easy for him to sulk, um, not play as well after it. But he bounces right back, and he has a really mature mindset when it comes to stuff like that. If it doesn't go his way, he bounces back, and he's ready to make the next play. When did you realize he was going to be the guy? Because it's not often in college football that a true freshman is this good this early on. Um, we had a scrimmage in fall camp. Uh, I think it was our first true live day uh, with tackling. Um, and he, he went off. He did really well against, against our defense, which, you know, is really good. And 
it just really opened your eyes up. If he can do that consistently versus TJ Edwards, Chris Orr, guys like that, then he's definitely going to be the guy come, you know, the first game. So I think that scrimmage was, was really the day that I thought he, he had a chance to be, you know, the guy. You know, there's a rumor going around that he's about to lose reps starting this week because there's this guy, M. Dieter, who's just unstoppable at running the football now. Can you comment on that? It's definitely possible, um, but I think it only be in the red zone. I don't, I don't know if they want me to try to go 70 yards with it. Um, you know, I'm, I'm up for it, but I don't know if it's necessarily my skill set, but I think it'll be more red zone driven. Listen, if you're going 14, 15 miles an hour, why not go 70 yards? Who's going to stop you? You're 320, baby. Well, I, I don't know. I mean, you get enough, you know, guys catching you. You can only carry so many people and you get guys <laughs> on your legs. Uh, it gets a little much. Michael Dieter, congrats on the touchdown. Congrats on being undefeated. Thanks for giving us some of your time. Thank you.